so in my last video, my last home automation video, I talked to you guys about NFC tags and a little bit of the automations that I've done in my apartment using NFC tags. So it was an overwhelming response that you guys actually want to know how to implement these things and how to use them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. I'm gonna break it down into three parts though. The first part is gonna be how I created my digital business card. The second part is going to be how I implemented it into my home automations. And then the third part is just gonna show you how I triggered just automations on my phone in general. This is more of an iPhone tutorial. I will show some things that you can do with an Android, but I don't have an Android, so um, I can only show you but so much. <laughs> Um, but I will show you some of the automations that you can do using the Shortcuts app on iPhones XS and later. I think I think I want to do this at my desk though. Yeah, let's go do this at my desk. NFCs. Let's talk about it. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. It's been around for quite some time, I would say about a decade or so. NFC antennas exist in most modern day phones, so like your Androids and your iPhones. 10s and later. So like I mentioned, NFC automations and NFC tags have been around for a while, but people are just starting to break into using them outside of using them for things like Apple Pay or Samsung Pay. These tags are very affordable and they're pretty cheap to find from Amazon. I bought a pack of 30 for about $9 off Amazon. I'll be sure to link it down below. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for this with my own money, but specifically for my tags, they didn't come with adhesive, which is kind of a bummer. So I'll try and link some down below that do have adhesive. That way it's easier for you guys to kind of mount them in different locations. So NFC automation or programming automation was released with the iOS 13 OS and it came with the Shortcuts app. So I know a lot of you guys may not know or didn't know what the Shortcuts app was for. When you downloaded iOS 13, you didn't think much of it. You probably deleted the app, to be honest. But this is the app that we use in order to program home automations and other automations as well. But before we get into home automations, I do want to talk a little bit about digital business cards, digital social media cards. We can call it a business card just to generalize it. But I have made my own NFC tag and I've mounted it to the back of my phone. I programmed this NFC tag to include all of the links to my social media accounts. This could be useful for people who are business owners or who have Etsy shops and happen to meet people in the street and don't have business cards on hand because who really carries business tags anymore? But this is a quick, easy way to transmit that information to somebody else and share that information with somebody else without having to go in and enter a URL or say your username on Instagram. So I do want to mention that NFC tags do come in this plain white dot. They're very light. They look very basic. Um, a lot of the dots I have customized myself. People have asked in my last video how I got the decals on some of my NFC tags. I've made them myself, and I'll talk a little bit more about them at the end of the video, but this specific one I put on the back of my phone, I've made it myself, and this links to all of my social media links like I mentioned before. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. It's a quick tutorial on what you'll need. So in order to create the, this digital tag, you'll need two things, NFC tags, obviously, and you'll need an app called NFC Tools. Now I've seen this app on both Android, Google Play, and iPhone App Store. So you should be able to download it on either platform. Once you've downloaded the app, you wanna make sure to open the app and this specific app will write data to the NFC tag. So there are two different ways to store your social media information. You can either store one app specifically or you can link a URL if you guys are familiar with Linktree or Direct Me, which is what I use to store all of my social media links on one URL. You can do that here in the app as well. What you wanna do first is hit write. Then you wanna tap on add a record. Then you wanna, I'll show you the first way. You want to scroll down to social network. From here, you'll pick a specific app. So for instance, let's do Instagram. You'll add your username. Mine is Sabrina Latoya. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should, at Sabrina Latoya, underscore. <laughs> hit OK. And from there, you'll want to hit write again. You'll take an NFC tag and you'll scan it. It will recognize the NFC tag and then that's it. Real simple. You no longer need this app on your phone and whoever scans the tag doesn't need the app on their phone. You've pretty much just written the data to this chip and that's it. You can delete the app right away or you can keep it for future use. So when somebody goes to scan the tag, your Instagram, will it'll pop up right away. Another way to do it is if you wanna include more than one social media platform, 
is to add a URL instead of adding a social media network. So you'll click add a record, you'll scroll down to URL, and here you'll enter in either your link tree or your direct me. These are free apps that you can use to link your social media accounts all on one page. Super simple. Same way, once you add the URL, you click write. It'll ask you to scan the NFC and it'll write that URL to the NFC. And then you can do whatever it is you want with it. You can put it on a wallet, attach it to a phone like I have here. I think it's so much easier than carrying around business cards. There's so many ways you can use this, but I think it's a fun little thing that you can do with NFC tags as well. Okay, so moving on to home automation. This section is really gonna be specifically for iPhone users because I'm going to be using an app that is specific to iPhones. You can do this on Androids as well. I'm not familiar with the process on Android because I don't have an Android. Team iPhones, comment below. Hashtag team iPhone or iPhone emoji. Show me all my iPhone users down there below in the comments. Like I mentioned in the beginning, you'll be using an app called Shortcuts. If you didn't know what it was for before and you deleted it, make sure you download it now. This is for iPhones XS and later. In order to create a home automation, you also wanna make sure that you have the home app linked to all of your smart home devices. So anything that is compatible with iOS or um, Apple products, such as Philips Hue, Wemo switches and stuff like that should be supported in your home app. Make sure you download the home app and you link all of those devices to there. From there, you should be able to go to your shortcuts app, click automation, click add, click personal automation. I should mention that this will trigger an NFC to run a shortcut on your personal device. Create personal automation, scroll down to NFC, scan tag, and from here you'll scan the tag and it'll ask you to name it. You can name it whatever you want. Hit next, and here you're gonna add an action. So if you're looking to specifically run home automations, you'll just tap on apps and click on home, and then click on control my home. Here you can set different accessories to different states, whether that's on or off. For the purpose of this video, I'll show you guys how I set this light here to turn on and off. You can select multiple accessories or one at a time. I'm gonna select one for now. Hit next. And here you'll say, I wanna turn it off, because right now it's on. Hit done, and that's pretty much it. Hit next. I always like to do ask before running, and I like to turn that off. I don't wanna ask before running, because that defeats the purpose of this being an automation. Hit done, and as soon as you scan the chip, it should turn the light off. Simple as that. Now, to take it a step further, I've only programmed the chip to turn the light off. If you wanna program the chip to turn off or turn on, depending on the state that it's in, you'll wanna add an if statement. Go back into that automation and update it, hit do, hit add, and from here you'll hit scripting, and then you'll type the if function. What you wanna do is say if your home accessory, you'll select the same home accessory that you're currently trying to set, so I'll select lamp, if home accessory is on, then I will set bedroom lamp to off. And it'll say otherwise, click apps, go back to home, control my home, otherwise set lamp to on. And that pretty much configures the light based on the state that it's in. And it'll allow it to turn either off or on depending on what state it's in. Once we hit that, we can click done. We can scan the chip. And now the light is on again. And if I hit the chip again, now the light is off. Super, super simple. Now you can get a little bit more complicated and I'll show one for example. In my last video, I showed you the movie time mode that I have set on an NFC chip that I keep in my living room. It's a little bit more complicated. I do like to add a vibrate device on my automations prior to running any of the automations, just so I know a secure connection has been made between the NFC chip and my iPhone. So here I have vibrate device and I have set seven accessories. So I have seven accessories in my living room that I want to turn off. And then I will I'll wait three seconds and then I will run Netflix. So I have this app called You Know Me. I think that's how you say it. You're not able to directly link Harmony with iOS. So You Know Me is a third party app that I can use in order to link my Harmony remote control with iOS settings. And then I can pull in some of my automations that run on my Harmony remote into the Shortcuts app. So right now I have it run Netflix. So it'll switch over to Netflix on my TV. 
it'll wait three seconds and then it'll turn on my hue sync lights behind my TV. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that one out. It adds a better viewing experience when I'm watching movies. Also, I have uh, another step to open the Roku app on my phone. That way I can use the phone as a remote control. That's how you set up NFC automations on your iPhone using the Shortcuts app. You can also run NFC automations just on your phone in general that don't have to do with home automation at all. So if you wanna set a timer when you put in your clothes into the wash machine, you can create a personal automation, scroll down to NFC again, you can scan the tag, you can name it, let's name it washing time, hit okay, hit next, hit add action, and then here you can type in timer, you can select start timer, and then you can set it for how, however many minutes you want to. Normally, if your washing machine is 60 minutes long, you just type in 60 and hit next, turn off ask before running, and hit done. I do wanna also note that these don't always work on metal, not all NFC tags work on metal. So if you wanna put it near a wall or something close to your washing machine, you can attach the NFC tag there. You scan the NFC tag once you put in your clothes and it'll automatically set a timer on your phone. No home automation needed. You can also use things like this when you go into a car. When you get into your car and you hook your phone up to your phone dock and you can create an automation to automatically tell you how long it's gonna take for you to get to work and open the maps to get directions to work to view traffic. So in order to do that, again, you create personal automation, scroll down to NFC tag, hit scan, name the tag, time to work, hit next. The action you will want to get is directions, type in directions. You can do get travel time. And from here, it'll pretty much prompt you which commands to enter. So you can do get driving time from current location to end location. And then you can enter in your end location, which will be your work address or whatever it is. Hit done. Then you wanna add a notification step, show notification. And in the show notification, you'll just write what you want it to say. So I'll say it will take, you'll hit the travel time. That'll give you the amount of time it should take to get to work. So when you run this automation, it'll tell you how long it takes to get to work. And then you can also add another step to get directions. Also type in get directions, show driving directions from current location to put in the same address. And you can use different apps. You can use Google Maps, you can use Waze. I'll use Google Maps, you can use regular Apple Maps. I'm not really an Apple Maps fan, go figure. And then once you run this automation, it'll get the direction, time it takes for you to get to work and it will also start your driving directions to get to that location. So those are the three uses that I use for NFC. Like I mentioned, they were my digital business card, my home automation, and just automation in general. There are so many different types of automation that you can use, get creative with it. Go through the shortcuts app and see all the different types of things you can use if you want to be a little bit more advanced you can do more scripting in my last video one of you had a question about how i got the decals on my nfc tags i do want to mention that i do them myself i have a cricut and all i do is create the design cut them out of my cricut and then i attach them to the nfc tag and then i use epoxy to seal them in just to look a little bit more polished so i hope this video was helpful i hope it wasn't too confusing let me know if you want more information about nfc's or if you have a question just leave it down below and I'll try and get back to it. If you haven't seen my other home automation video, be sure to check it out over here. And I also have all the home tech that I keep in my apartment. Check out this video down here. YouTube only shares videos when other people like the video. So be sure to like the video as well. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.